If you find it very hard to stay productive, there is a reason why. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you what you're doing wrong and I'm gonna give you a productivity system that will help you double and even triple your productivity as an entrepreneur. My name is Nico. In this channel, I talk about business wealth in marketing and I'm gonna start this presentation and the title for the presentation today is only dumb entrepreneurs ignore this productivity system. I know it sounds controversial, but I see a lot of people making this mistake. In this video, I'm just going to talk about the big problem with modern productivity systems. I'm going to talk about the Pomodoro technique, the eat the frog, the eat the frog productivity method and the IV Lee method. And those are the most popular productivity techniques I could find out online, but there is like one big problem with them. And no matter how hard you try, you won't be able to implement those. I'm gonna share something called the Matthew effect and understanding the Matthew effect will help you actually improve your productivity. And we're gonna talk about how to improve your mental focus how to prevent burnout and you'll be able to have better mental clarity after completing this presentation. So this is what you're gonna learn. The productivity system I'm gonna share is very, very power powerful and without it, you're destined to procrastinate and you'll never complete your to-do list. And if you're an entrepreneur, probably your life feel feels like this one. You're bombarded with notification, you're bombarded with emails, messages, tasks. There is probably quite a lot of on your to-do list and, bef and you just like feel overwhelmed. And this is how I felt until I discovered this thing. You know, I was in the very beginning of my entrepreneurial journey and I was just doing everything that everybody said on the internet. There are like a bunch of people who said, oh, you need to do YouTube, you need to do Instagram content marketing, you need to do Twitter, you need to do podcast. And I tried doing everything and my life was a complete mess and I just couldn't handle my daily tasks. So I didn't know what to do. And in many cases, this ended up with a very few bad burnouts. And whenever you have a burnout, you, it feels like, or at least this is how I feel. Uh, I lost my mental clarity and just I lost my motivation to work on my business. And you know that building a business in 2022, in 2023, 2025 would be extremely difficult because the competition is um, quite high. And if you cannot be productive, if you cannot organize your time to do the tasks that you, ne you really need to do, you'll never be able to do anything good with your business. So you'll be stuck. And the first technique I just want to talk about, this is like the Pomodoro technique. I'm just going to share how I use this technique and I'm going to share the biggest um, advantage. And I, once I talk about the three techniques, I'm just going to give you the solution, right? So the first technique is a, the Pomodoro technique. and it's like a time management system and whenever you start working, you just put on a 25 minute timer, right? And you know, for 25 minutes, you just um, focus on one, one task. And for me, this is like the tasks that I feel that are the most difficult to complete. In many cases, this is like writing copy, uh, writing um, emails to clients, so those are those would be the tasks that I use the Pomodoro time and timer. And usually after the 25 minute chunks of time runs out, I'll have a five or 15 minute break and I'm going to get back to it. But there is one big problem with this productivity system and I'm going to get to this in a minute. But first, let me talk about the second uh, productivity technique or system. And this is called eat the frog and it's invented by a guy called Brian Tracy and Brian Tracy is quite like a famous self-help development author. And he says, if it's your job to eat a frog, it's best to do it first thing in the morning. And if it's your job to eat two frogs, 
it's the best to eat the biggest one first. So that means in order for you to be productive, what you need to do first thing in the morning, you need to just uh, get up, do the hardest thing, and you do it like the very first thing, you know. And I've tried this, it's super effective. And but and whenever I have like something big, even before having coffee, I'll just sit on my computer and I'll do it. And after I complete and after I eat the biggest and ugliest frog, my day is just much more fulfilled because I knew that I've done my best to complete the hardest task. And right now for me, the hardest task is to record those videos, also to write copy. So the first thing in the morning I do um, would be to work on YouTube and to work on like uh, code emails and like write copy, etc., etc. But there is also one very, very big problem with this. And I'm going to get to this in a minute and you'll see what I mean. And the third productivity method, it is like the Ivy Lee method. And what you do, you just write down six tasks that you want to accomplish usually on the next day. So before you're going to bed, you just get a pen and a paper, you see, and you write the six most important tasks you want to complete. The next day, refresh and ready, you start working on, on them, getting as far as you can. And you just repeat this weekly, you know, and it is super powerful. But again, there is one big problem. And here is the problem, you know, here is why those systems won't work for you. And here is why this system didn't work for me that well as well. You need to do, you need to understand something first before you implement those systems. Um, so there is something called the attention span, you know, and this is the length of time for which a person is able to concentrate on a particular activity or subject. And over time, attention span tend to decreases. So our grandparents had far better attention span than us because why? We have the technology, we have the social media. And as you can see in the 2000, the average human attention span was 12 seconds. And in 2013, now it's eight, it, it, that's in like 2013 and it's eight seconds. And today could be like even like far five seconds. And the attention span of a goldfish is nine seconds. So let's go back to the, to the productivity systems. The Pomodoro technique requires you to focus for 25 minutes, but your attention span is only less than eight seconds. How are you gonna do, do it? How are you gonna do it, you know? Also, if you wanna eat the frog in the morning, you need focus, you know? And what you do, the first thing in the morning, you try to do the task that you wanna do, but you get distracted because you open social media and you start browsing. You start watching videos, TikToks, etc., and you end and you waste a bunch of time. The same thing with the Ivy Lee method. You have six super important tasks to complete, but you get distracted and you end up procrastinating. And the reason is you don't have the ability to focus. And that's also the problem with me. I have the average attention span of a goldfish. That's why I cannot focus. So what's the, what's the solution here? The solution would be to try to increase my attention span. And the biggest problem that we have right now is social media, you know, being on our phones 24 seven. And if you want to increase your attention span, you just need to stop using your phone. And I'm going to, introduce another concept to you and it is called the Matthew effect and the Matthew effect refers to a pattern in which those who begin with advantage ac accumulate more advantage over time and those who begin with disadvantage become more disadvantaged over time probably you heard the term the richer got richer and it's the same with this thing the distracted gets more distracted the person who has um, less attention span 
tends to decrease the attention span. So what do you need to do? You just need to focus on the advantages when it comes to your time management. And this is, in my opinion, avoiding distraction, you know, because if you're distracted all the time, you just keep on like browsing social media and you won't complete the tasks that you need to complete. And the first thing that you need to focus on would be reducing the technology, reducing social media. I know that as an entrepreneur, you use like social media quite a lot to promote your business. You check your YouTube stats, you check your um, Facebook messages, you check your like emails, etc., etc. Maybe you check customer support. But the biggest problem that we have as entrepreneurs would be spending way too much time on social media. It's like way too much. And it's very hard to just um, define it. Am I spending time on learning stuff? Am I spending time on something productive? Am I just wasting my time? So where's the difference? Where's the difference? So uh, what I suggest you do to improve your focus would be to go on like a information diet and just avoid social media at all costs. And I have some quite good tips on that. And those tips helped me, helped me quite a lot. And this is the answer. You just need to avoid distraction. Because think about it. Think about the advantage you have. If everybody is like spending, I don't know, six hours a day watching TikToks. But instead, if you could spend these six hours doing something productive, like creating content for social media, working on like client deals, improving your product, improving your, your services, communicating with your team, having like productive team meetings, you crush it. You just destroy the competition. But it's very, very hard because those social medias, those platforms are very, very addictive for everybody. So um, what was the solution for me? I implemented something called digital minimalism and digital decluttering. And I'm going to give you the steps. And I try to focus on activities that would improve my attention span, you know. I do things such as reading, you know, because reading is like very, it's an activity that requires focus. And I'll try to read for like longer period, periods of time, you know. I try to do meditation, you know. When I meditate, I'm focusing only on just my breath i'm counting my breath so it requires focus and focus is like a muscle and i'm training this muscle consistently whenever i go to the gym and whenever i run on the treadmill i'll be like i'll run for like 25 minutes straight and i try to just focus on running you know and no matter what happens i'll try not to shorten the workout if i decide 25 minutes this is like 25 minutes you know and i'm just and I feel like focus is the main muscle I need to build. And for example, the next day when I go to work and whenever I put my Pomodoro timer for 25 minutes, that means I'm focused for 25 minutes. No distraction, just pure focus, you know. Also, some activities that help me improve my focus, uh, that's sports. I like CrossFit. I like going to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu when I do like sparring or grappling or whatever you want to call it, I'm just focusing for like five minutes straight. And this activity requires my, requires my full focus because I'm just getting choked. It's very similar to CrossFit. CrossFit, the workout would be like 15 minutes. So for 15 minutes, um, I'll just focus. And I do all those activities and they kind of compound and they kind of help me um, improve my focus. And right now I'm sitting and I'm recording a long video. Probably this video will be like 15, 25, 30 minutes long. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but this is a long video. And for me to create this video, I just need to do the research, do the presentation, talk on the camera. And those are like activities that require a huge amount of focus. I wouldn't have it if I had social media, you know. And... The way I think about it, about social media and distraction, it's kind of like going on a diet, you know? And whenever you go on a diet, 
if you want to lose weight, of course, you don't, you, you don't want to have like all those sweets and junk food in your fridge because no matter how good discipline you have, sometimes you'll just get, you'll just say, oh, I'm super hungry. I cannot do it anymore. And you eat the donut, you eat the fries, you eat the hamburger. And it's the same with like focus. If you have like social media on your phone, if you have like social media on your computer, at one moment you'll get distracted and you'll just like spend endless hours of time just reading through, I don't know, funny memes or just like watching stories or TikToks or etc. etc. So Americans says say out of sight, out of mind, and the best way um, to do it would be to use digital minimalism and digital decluttering and remove everything that is in your way to improve your focus and do focused work. And how to do it, how to do it. And here I'm just gonna go into the practicalities. And the first thing I would say would be to declutter your phone, declutter your computer. If you have social media apps on your phone and your computer, just delete them. Ask yourself, is this social media useful to my business? Am I publishing useful social media content for this social media or I'm just wasting time? If the answer is yes, delete the social media. Delete all the apps that you're not using. Delete all the files that you're not using. Make it just like super, super simple. When you open your phone or computer, you shouldn't have like 8,000 of applications and just all over the place. Make sure you organize your apps, make sure you organize uh, your files. If you don't use it, delete it. It's called digital decluttering, so make sure you declutter your phone. The second thing that I wanna talk about, this is reduce the number of instant messaging apps. We already talked about social media, but if you have like 11 social, 11 instant messaging apps, you're just gonna waste a lot of time just answering to messages. And usually what I do, I use only one main messaging app. And in my country, I'm from Bulgaria, this is Facebook Messenger, and pretty much I've deleted everything else. I think I also got WhatsApp because I have one internet mastermind that communicates through WhatsApp, but pretty much that's it. If I wanna check a message, all my friends, they know that they can uh, message me on Facebook Messenger and I'll reply. The next thing I would like to do would be to mess and subscribe from email newsletters. And whenever I see a person who has like, I don't know, a hundred unread emails most of the time, if you think about it, it's just like your mental energy goes there because you're like, oh, I have like so many unread emails. And some of those emails are just promotional materials. And for example, imagine you receive like a promotional material for like shoes and you want to buy new shoes and you open like, uh, the website and you just spend like a bunch of hours browsing about shoes and colors of shoes and sizes and you spend like a bunch of time shopping. So what I like to do on my phone or on my computer, I only have work related emails and I'm not on any email lists. I'm not on any emails, newsletters. I know that if I receive an email it's from a person I know and pretty much it's a work related. So as you can see, I'm trying to reduce my email inboxes. I'm trying to reduce the ways people can contact me because if I have to open like 11 inboxes, it's gonna take me 11 minutes. If I wanna open one inbox, it might take me like 15 seconds because this one inbox, if it's like really well organized, it will have zero unread emails. The next thing that I advise to do as an entrepreneur would be to declutter and organize your project management tools and your main browser. For example, if you use Basecamp, Slack, Monday, make sure you organize it very, very well. Make sure you declutter it and think of ways to just make it easier to access and you should be able to access your projects, your to-dos very, very easily. So this is my next thing 
And of course, I'm going to talk about the browser because as an entrepreneur, online entrepreneur, I'm pretty sure you spent a lot of time in Google Chrome or Safari or Firefox. And this is kind of like your main workplace. So your main workplace is within the browser. And my suggestion to you would be to organize it very, very well. Just make sure you have the right bookmarks, make sure you have extensions that you're using that are useful for your business, make sure your main browser works fast and it's not like super slow, it doesn't crash, etc., etc. Another thing that I want to talk about, this is the use of ad blockers. If you go on YouTube to watch a tutorial on how to set up, let's say, code email campaigns or something, and if there are just like a bunch of ads showing up, there is a chance that you might click on the ad, you might go to the website, watch a three hour webinar and just waste a bunch of time. So I, I assume, I, I don't assume, I personally use ad blockers. I suggest you try using ad blockers and just trying to not consume any ads, you know. The next thing um, I want to talk about, if you spend a lot of time on some websites, this is, let's say, for example, this could be something stupid like, I don't know, a shopping website or like Amazon or like, um, I don't know, just some random website. You can use website blockers to block the website that takes the most of your time, you know, and just reduce all the websites that you visit and you spend a lot of time that could be reddit that could be instagram that could be facebook that could be youtube it's very different for everybody for me i tend to spend uh, a lot of time on youtube uh, and i use something that's called newsfeed eradicator to reduce the social media newsfeed for example i'm just going to show you how it works this is the chrome extension um, it's called the Newsfeed Eradicator. And if I want to go to Instagram, right on my desktop, it's going to say Newsfeed Eradicator. And I won't have any, um, any news, right? It's just going to be this. And it works, the Newsfeed Eradicator, it works for Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Y Combinator, and it's completely for free. So you can get it for free and you, you can just use it. And here I don't have a scroll because like on Instagram, you can waste a bunch of time. The platform is really addictive. So I try to stay away from Instagram at all cost. But um, as you can see, I try to just avoid everything that wastes my time. And I do this very proactively. I do this consistently because it's super easy to go on just some random social media and waste a bunch of time. And that's my opinion. The number one problem with all the productivity systems you use is your ability not to focus. And you'll be able to focus if you implement digital minimalism and digital decluttering. There is a very good book on digital minimalism by Cal Newport. Also, what you can do, you can just go online and research his podcasts on digital minimalism and digital decluttering, and you can get your own opinion. But yeah, that's my, that's my opinion. It's going to get harder and harder with your um, ability to retain your focus, to work hard, to do deep work if you keep spending a bunch of time on social media platforms and just waste your time instant messaging some random people and just spending a bunch of time on useless forms. And yeah, this was my productivity system. This is how I manage my time. Um, I use a lot of productivity techniques and the and my ability directly affects um, and my ability to stay focused directly affects the power and just the efficiency of the productivity system I use. So for example, if you use the Ivy League method and if you use like the um, Pomodoro technique and if you apply uh, eat the frog method, it would be very, very powerful 
because before going to bed, you have uh, six priority to do. You do the very first um, one, like you, you do the most important, the hardest, the very first one. You use a, the Pomodoro timer to complete it and you'll just be unstoppable and you'll crush it. But so this video is kind of like um, a combination of what I think it works and also it will help you overcome your biggest obstacles and that would be um, activities that are just taking away your time, that are eating your time and you're wasting your time. Yeah, that was the video for today. My name is Nico. Uh, in this channel, I talk about business wealth and marketing. If you have an online business and if you want to grow your online business to the very next level, please check the links in the description. And I'm going to talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.